This week, episode 320 of Stogie Geeks, Drew and I talk the Predicate Exchange, or known as PredX. This is a licensing solution that is being proposed to the industry. Its goal is to help solve some of the predicate questions in a cost-effective way, while still allowing manufacturers to expand their portfolios. Interesting. Stick of the week is the Placencia El Forte. I'm smoking the Robusto. That's a 5 and 1 fourth by 52. And stay tuned. In the second segment, we're going to talk sticks of the week. We're going to review the Placencia. But we have a giveaway coming up that has to deal with Brick House. All this and more on this edition of the Stuggy Geek Show. This is a Security Weekly production. Broadcasting live from G-Unit Studios in Rhode Island, it's the show where cigars burn slow, ashes fall fast, and cocktails flow steady. It's the Stogie Geek Show. Welcome everyone to the Stogie Geek Show. Joe and I are already silly. Oh yeah. yeah. Joe Hosempa, a.k.a. Joe Hollywood is here with me in studio. I'm fired up. And we- Havana Cigar Club, located in Warwick, Rhode Island, is a great place to enjoy a drink and a cigar. Stogie Geeks listeners can find a $5 off coupon on our website by clicking the HCC logo. Confidence. Confidence isn't walking into a room with your nose in the air, thinking you're better than anyone else. It's walking into a room and not having to compare yourself to anyone in the first place. So you geeks, welcome to episode 320. I am your host, Joe Hosempa. Super excited to be here. I'm all joined, joined. Oh boy, Bloody Mary has kicking in. <laughs> I am joined remotely from the little dark haired boy from Texas, Mr. Drew Galvin. What's up? Oh, yeah. Hey, Joe. What's going on? Oh man, it's the weekend, brother. I'm always excited when it's weekend. Yeah, oh, I'm especially yeah. excited for this weekend. Uh, I'm going to a show tonight. From someone from uh, Little San Antonio, your neck of the woods is is chilling in Rhode Island, so I'm looking forward to that. Nice, nice. And I got a babysitter, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> that's always good. Yeah. I'm still waiting from I'm waiting for my son to give me a call. Hey, Dad, I need you to babysit tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh yeah, yep. So yep. that's right. awesome. Yeah, you know it's uh it's going good and things are going good and we got news. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's some more. Uh, even though I'm not out privileged to talk about it because I've never been to a show, but I'm gonna talk yeah. about it. So uh, yeah, there's some more PCA news going out there. Um, yeah. You know, I-, I said last year that that cigar con wasn't a good idea. They kind of you know they're becoming very very externally centered as an organization and that is all i have to say about that and when you become externally centered um i know it's about focusing on your customers and doing all of that however mission tends to slip and uh who knows what the future of that's going to bring i'm assuming it's going to be a change of command and a swing of something different uh there but you know oh yeah It's above my pay grade. My offer still stands. You need me to sit on the board or whichever. You, you, uh, Joe H at StoryGeeks.com. The offer still stands over there. You know? There you go. As opposed to getting yelled at on on Facebook that, uh, you know, uh, if I really wanted an interview with them, uh, I I should call. I don't really. Uh, Mm. My my phone rings constantly. I'm busy. So, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, what's going on with you? Not much, man. Just enjoying the weather over here. Finally, we got over the little cold, a uh, couple of days of real ice cold weather. Uh, looking forward to the XFL uh, league kicking off here in Dallas. That's going to be fun to go to on Sunday and mm. enjoy that. But other than that, man, just uh, been smoking stogies and enjoying, you know, the camaraderie with other, uh, you know, at, at the lounge and and just enjoying the, uh, you know, the uh, cigar uh, culture life. Yeah, man. It's about smoking sticks and making money. That's right, brother. There you go. And yep. if it's me, it's smoking sticks, kicking ass, and making money. You there know? you go. Kicking. And making, a, 
ass. Make a few, make a few friends, and you know the, the, those that hate. Well, they, you know, they just hate because they can't participate. Yeah. And whatever. Just want to make sure that uh, we can understand my northeastern accent. That's kicking ass, not kissing ass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, Drew. Um, yeah. I want to talk to you a little bit about the, the predicate exchange. Uh, it's dubbed in the industry as PredX. Uh, it's a proposed solution that um, is being offered now to the industry uh, in regards to licensing for predicate date uh, there. Its goal is to help solve problems about the ever so ongoing conversation that I've been having since 2015. Uh, on a consistent basis, uh, either with Cigar Club Radio when it was there or Stoia Geeks about this whole FDA decision. And it's being proposed as a cost-effective way while still allowing manufacturers to expand their portfolios. Now, um, for you Stoia Geeks who are listening or watching, you can uh, follow along. You can go to PredX, P-R-E-D-X dot org, get all the information uh, over there. And I want to roll out their game plan because uh, after talking to the um, agency for the creator uh, of this, uh, full disclosure, it is um, B- McAuliffe Cigars is is behind this. Al McAuliffe is behind this uh, yeah. um, there. And it, it's got some interesting points. And we're going to take some time out, you know, 20, 25 minutes to kind of lay out the land of what their plan is. Uh, there, uh, I'm going to reflect on how I think it would reflect uh, both in and out of the industry because it's not an original idea. Uh, manufacturers been doing this for for a while to increase purchasing power, especially when you're dealing with stuff out of the United States. You know, sure. so um, I like the idea, but um, being in the industry for over 24 or five years now. Um, I, I can see where there might be some, some hiccups. And so we're, we're going to take time and talk about that. Uh, and then in a part two series, kicking the can down the road, we're going to continue a little bit more in depth as they roll out their plan uh, there because they have a monthly cadence, which we're going to start to talk about there on this episode. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to have Al McAuliffe come on Stow Your Geeks and talk about that and and uh, we'll get him on another episode as well and talk about the McAuliffe cigars. Which order, I don't know. But hopefully by the end of July of 2020, the Story Geeks listener will now be able to go to the Story Geeks landing page, storygeeks.com forward slash McAuliffe, and they'll be able to kind of get the cadence of, of how this is being delivered uh, there. Yeah. So um, I will begin. Um, I, I will begin. So uh, with the May 2020 deadline coming in, um, you know, that deadline's quickly approaching. And again, I'm getting this information from predx.org. It was sent to me mm-hmm. um, by, by the ad agency for McAuliffe Cigars in order for me to uh, begin to open d- d- discussions on this on the show. So, um, you know, I know other people have covered it. So take your hate email to Drew at storygeeks.com. So anyway, <laughs> um, you know, and so pr- predx is uh, the idea of it is to have a collabor- a collaboration effort uh, behind the blends that would obviously meet pre-predicate date. And now this would extend, uh, expand beyond, it would be under its own nonprofit there because it's set up as a .org uh, yeah. there. So, um, you know, their anticipated go- uh, timeline as to have this all launch um, from December through January, February, uh, they, they want to share the idea. Again, they've done it with some of the interested parties. They've reached out to, 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 to some of the uh, cigar manufacturers. They've gotten it in the hands of other podcasts as well. So, um, you know, th- this isn't riveting breaking news. It's just, you know, with everything that's going on with, quote, unquote, the big show, it's probably sitting on the back burner. If, if, right. if that was on cruise control... That show, um, I think that it would get more attention. 
It just happens in the news cycle. Happens all the time, right? So sure. the goal is to get letters of so but between December, January, February is to get letters of intent from manufacturers stating that their desire to explore the direction of the company going into uh, this collaboration effort with uh, Predex. They are seeking both manufacturers interested and participating. Uh, uh, who want to help out the lead there. They'll also be on, a, I'm assuming that they'll be on a board of advisors uh, to, to talk about that. In February, March, uh, their initial uh, calls will go as a group to discuss how they organize the organization uh, and potential licensing approaches. McAuliffe Cigars, as the initial member, will facilitate uh, there. The desired outcome is the is the election board of members so they would have a, uh, either an executive or an advisory board uh, and the next order of business would be solidifying a single pooling and licensing approaches for member vote finally McAuliffe cigars will be prepared with demonstration on how predicates may be curated and discovery by its members now we're moving forward next month they're going to uh, swing towards the momentum and collaboration of those members who, who, who get elected. Um, and it will allow and produce the first view of member predicates that are available. Uh, April uh, here. So they have a timeline. So April, I'm dubbing it April, May, uh, just because of the month that we're in and how sometimes slow the industry can move. Uh, sure. And when you get to May, uh as we know in the industry, it's all hands on deck on the big show, regardless of its situation, whether they're going or not. You know, it, it's a, it's usually all all hands on deck there. But so so April May, uh, the initial Predex organization license model and predicate database will be up and running. Uh, pr uh, pre uh, it's noted on their site, Predex cannot achieve its full potential for members unless we are committed to organizing quickly and may and making de decisions which deliver a licensing solution to member versus the classic lobbying, okay? Legislate and legislative meant uh, in uh, litigation methods. Uh, licensing produces uh, predictable results uh, for benefiting members, retailers, and consumers. What are your initial thoughts uh, what what are your initial thoughts? I I've, I have so many ra r racing through my head at at this, you know. But what do you think? Yeah, I was just uh, you know list reading here on on the Predix website, uh, the, the declaration of collaboration, and and again, I mean, it all comes back to you working together as an industry and bringing everything uh, very concise, and also, uh, you know, having that. Um, you know, just having that 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 transparency. Mm. So, you know, when when everybody is together and everything is is transparent in the discussion of the Predex, uh, that you know, for me, it would be, you know, uh, a start in that direction to make sure that you know everybody has a a voice, uh, has an opinion, and then from there develop and. It just invokes a lot of uh, good conversations. Okay. So that, that. Yep. The benefits uh, go to retailers, customers, and cigar manufacturers. I yes. will continue. Cigar manufacturers will be if they join the group, right? You you also said something that's pro provocative to me. Well, people will, would have a voice. Mm -hmm. Semicolon if they join the group. Yes. <laughs> Period. <laughs> okay. I, I, I just yeah. didn't want to interrupt you. You know what I mean? I just yes. want to make that clear, right? But the benefits right. for cigar manufacturers will increase their access uh, to the must-have predicates, okay? Allowing them to increase their product portfolio. Sure. Right? The benefits to retailers, they would know member companies will have the necessary predicate to comply with regulations, but if they banged on your door, wouldn't you assume that they've gone through their predicate? Does they try to sell your product if you're a retailer? Mm -hmm. Right? That's kind of, yeah. you know, okay. Um, I'll just leave yeah. that there for now, right? Uh, customers 
us consumers, right, customers, will enjoy more tr- more choices from a variety of cigar makers. Right. What do you think about that? No, that right there in itself. I mean, that's the end game. I mean, right there is where you have all your customers enjoying, uh, as it says, you know, enjoying the, uh, a variety of cigars availability, uh, and just being able to have those uh, coincide with, you know, all the different programs that are out there. Um, you know, such as what McCalvin is doing with the ambassador program, you know, bringing that back in. Um, so that, you know, that in itself, uh, to me is a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong. Uh, but yeah, you're absolutely correct. I mean, there has to be participation and there has to be open-mindedness about this. Uh, I don't think it's that difficult. Uh, once, once you explain it to me, on a previous, you know, between you and I, when we had this uh, discussion off off air, because um, I was also gravitating in my mind, you know, how does this all congeal uh, with everyone? Right. Right. And also, like, you know, uh, how does it congeal with, with, with the big guys? Are they going to be behind it? Are they not? Do they need exactly. it? Do, do they need it? And again, Again, I, 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 I know I go back to this, okay? And this has been my stance since, since 2015, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, we're talking United States sales. Like, right. like some companies, a lot of companies, sell their beautiful cigars, their beautiful premium tobacco outside of the U.S. Yeah. And, and you know, and, and now they're going to uh, consider... Joining this collaboration, I'm not saying it's it's it, it's a bad idea, at all. Uh, I wanna before I cast my full judgment, I wanna do this series of shows, and then have it lead up to Al McAuliffe coming on and and setting the the record straight of anything that ever happened, uh, or anything that's being discussed on this show. Uh, sure. You know, to 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 set the record straight for sure, and to engage. But I mean, it all sounds great on paper. Right. It's like the Constitution yeah. of the United States. Right. It all sounds great on paper. Right. We we have these elected officials and we go through this process. And it's a democratic process. And, and it really sounds great. And, and we founded a country on it. Right. But right. as we know. Right. And you can pick any subject. Doesn't have to be cigars. Right. As we know, sometimes on paper, it doesn't happen to work out that way in the real world. You know what Correct. I mean? And yeah, so, the real world application. It, yeah, the real world application. And then I, yeah. I, I honestly think that, you know, um, let's do a quick pool just mentally in our heads and, 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 and we can talk about it or dare we even mention brands, right? If you're not mm-hmm. really a big guy, do you, do you go this route? Or, right. or you know, because if you're a big – or, or if, if, you're a big, uh, if you're a big guy, you know, do you even consider going this route? You know, mm. because yeah. even with or without predicate dates or even without a PCA, they, that, like I said, that that's one show one time. That's not the the exclusivity of the, the deals you can get if you're a retailer going to IPCP on. I don't want to and I don't want to go poo poo on them any more than right. I've been on that uh, rampage lately. But it's like there are other organizations and other shows that some retailers can't even get invited to because they don't even do the volume as the retailer, right? right? But yet right. this group is 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 saying, well, you know, the benefit of a retail is is you would know the companies have the necess- the ne- the necessary predicate to comply with the regulations. Mm. Well, if they're selling the tobacco, then uh, or the effort for the for the for the sticks to be have shelf space in. You would assume that they were in compliance, right? I mean, Correct. I mean, you would assume, that, and and if they're not, and there's been plenty of stories in this industry of cigar companies who've got jammed up for whatever reason outside of the leaf, outside of yeah. wrapper, binder, filler, they've gotten jammed up, and you know something that goes on them. And I'm not saying it's a doggy dog world, or I'm not saying that you know, um, you know, uh, it's not going to work. I just, I, I don't, I don't really. I'd be curious to see what the momentum is on this project. I'd right. be very curious to see what what the the, the momentum is. Uh, I'm gonna reach out after this segment, uh, not immediately after, but like over next week, and 
try to get some updated progress on that timeline for our next segment when we talk about that. But, I mean, all they're doing is creating a sense of urgency and listing some benefits uh, sure. and trying to get people to work together. Now, this methodology is nothing new. And, and, and you know, Al McAuliffe, outside of the cigar industry, has done some pretty super cool stuff, right? If yeah. you've... If you've looked him up and taken time out to 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 look, so so you know he he he's 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 got a good business acumen, right? Um, yeah. He's he's got a business acumen, uh, and he's outside of the box, and he's and, and so other other organizations outside of the industry have used this sort of collaborative effort to go in the past. I just don't know. My initial thought is creativity could suffer for the consumer that's my initial mm. thought you know what i mean because as you stop mm -hmm. pooling your resources and then pulling together for a predicate voting on that i mean are we going to see a lot of collaboration of stuff but we've already seen that we've already yeah. seen collaboration within the industry a really well-known company who could be known as a big dog peers up with dare i say boutique creates a right. stick and does some collaboration and it works on both sides right the big right. name gets to get into the boutique market for shelf space and the boutique who they might not have even heard or i should use that word as, as small batch right the small batch cigar company who the consumer who might not even heard of them now they can go through the distribution channels because they collaborated that way and then, and then done that there. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we we can we can do a whole show. Uh, actually, we, we you should put that down in your notes. We 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 should do a show uh, in between this segment. It doesn't have to be next show, but this segment and the second interview of the who's already kind of collaborated uh, yeah. there um, because you know I can see someone wanting to collaborate with like an AJ Fernandez. Right. Sure. I can see uh, someone like an AJ Fernandez wanting to collaborate with someone like Caldwell. Yeah. Right. You know, and 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 and, and there are benefits on both sides, but right. that's two two people, right? You know, yeah, I know it's a team, and I get it, but you know, it, it's two people putting together a blend, going forward, and 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 marketing that out. Now this is yeah. a board, and I've sat on plenty of boards. Uh, both executive and advisory, right? Um, right. You know, uh, to to know that sometimes um, just the the makeup demographic of that you have sacred cows, you have people who kind of want to do their thing, you know, they kind of hush because they don't want to, you know, ruffle the feathers. They want to, and I'm not, and I'm not accusing this as going to be there, but but that's human behavior. So there might be some of that later on down the road. Uh, there, I, I, I'm Ooh. just I'm just a little kind of. My initial thought is protecting the Story Geeks listener and 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 us as consumers, I think creativity is gonna suffer a little bit. Yeah. I would just I, something just came to my mind right now as as you were talking about that. And and that's just like maybe sh they should have a like a tier level, you know, of of engagement. Um you know, because I I'd I'd, I'd I'd hate it was not that I'd hate. I'd I'd see someone like like our guest we had last uh, week and a half, uh, two weeks ago, Placencia, you mm -hmm. know, who, you know, who who does some collaboration and does a lot of uh, of the uh, tobacco farming work, uh, you know, for for whole percent. brands, you can say it, yeah, for whole brands, yeah, <laughs> for a good percentage, <laughs> for a good percentage for uh, uh, of the cigars that are out there, you know, you get someone like that in that fold, and you know, you you start to wonder, is there you know, is there like a, a multi-tier level where you can have this, you know, work out? Um, you know, I, I guess for me, it's like if I put in so much, if this, if it was me, if I put in so much, you know, what are the other parties bringing to the table? Um, I'm not sure if that's the right way to look at it, but that's just, you know, in my, in my daily world, I always look and see what, what you're bringing to the table so that I can either match it or, you know, help. Uh, develop that with you um without you know um i guess being oversized in that position i guess i mm -hmm. mean does it does it make sense what i'm saying yeah to, um, to, to, to me it makes sense what 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 you're saying like you know you 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 know if if you have the me like you know if you're a bigger business right like like sure. you're saying 
if you pick a business and you have a little bit more uh, stake in the game, or if you if you were able to contribute more to this, right? Exactly. Because you know, we don't know what what my unknowns, right? Which is why I want to do a two part and then get get the person in, is because I want to deliver uh, as fair and just opinion as I'm learning about this myself, right? So I don't want to just just go on a rampage and say, you know, this is great or this sucks. I'm just trying. I'm going. I'm going through an exploratory phase with you, uh, here on air, which would hopefully uh, engage in discussion on social media. Uh, You can hashtag Stoey Geeks. You can email me at Joe H at StoeyGeeks dot com or Drew at StoeyGeeks dot com. You know, you we we you know, I'd I'd love to hear from uh some some of the uh, uh either manufacturers or retailers who are kind of either on the fence or have been all in on this you know right. i can certainly say that when a program like this comes to a industry doesn't have to be cigar industry sometimes sure. the smaller ones jump in sure a little quicker but if it's a flat fee whatever the fee is and whatever the licensing process is and whatnot uh or time constraint you know some companies have a little bit more resources than others that's that's yeah. you know so then it becomes uh well i gave this well i can give more because i'm bigger but if we're given sure. the same amount why should someone who Benefit. has more resources give the same amount yeah. i mean i'm sure that they'll, they'll have to figure that out but the but i don't want that discussion to take away from the no. source the whole the whole source is to give um is to uh have members have royalty free access amongst the members and simplify the discovery of predicates right uh and and uh help them through the innovation process as it gets to regulators okay but it's not on the onus of the company to like i mean the cigar industry yeah. today i believe it's today or yesterday uh, today or yesterday mocks like the embargo of, of from Cuba, right? It's 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 what's in February, first week of February, right? Uh, right. So, you know, uh, 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 this industry has changed over years of you know, and and quite frankly, when we have an embargo against Cuba, it obviously affected South Florida, right? I mean, it affected yep. it affected the industries, affected, but yet there are. Uh, factories that are still around, like J.C. Newman, that you just yeah, you, you you just yeah. you just adapt, yeah. Like you just thrives. adapt, you know what I mean? So it kind of uh, uh, it's it's interesting, you know what I mean? It kind of yeah. reminds me of uh, I did a stint for a little bit of consulting work for the marine industry, right? And and um, boat work boat builders would buy materials in bulk. Now, for those of you who uh, don't know me or don't uh, of the, I live in Bristol, Rhode Island. Uh, back in the 70s, 80s, huge boat manufacturers, either commercial or fleet, um, not military, but like you know, commercial boats and whatnot. And then so like like all of the manufacturers in that sector would buy the product in boat so that they could produce the, with the materials much cheaper. And sure. you know, they have a uh, uh, a J sail, so it's like a sailboat, yeah. and it goes down, and it has a J. That's that's the name of the thing. Like those are, are created for eighty percent of the world boats for those who race like America's Cups and all of that. And if you and you know, if you Google America's Cup and all of that, and Newport, all that you know, Newport is twenty minutes from Bristol. So that whole sector in Rhode Island on the bay, huge boat. But the the J boats, eighty percent of those those bottoms of the J are produced right in in bristol right that that's just that's just fact so so they're buying more of that and then that would increase purchasing power but th- so i see the rationale of them joining together but now but instead of purchasing power and producing a cheaper um product they're cascading down to the predicate so that potentially the uh bat cigar wouldn't have to come up with the cost of the of, of, of the predicate but when they pass that down the price down to the consumer, I mean, you know, right. Kellogg's cereal today is down forty percent because people are not doing breakfast cereals, right? Right, this is fact, right? So Kellogg's is looking into the meatless revolution. So, uh, to- so Tony the Tiger 
who is yeah. known icon for breakfast cereal. I remember being a kid and reading the box and digging for the prize, you know, <laughs> you know and all yeah. of that stuff, right? So if they're down 40%, they have to adapt and thrive and then go there too. Now they're going to get in the meatless market. Now who, who, what does Kellogg's know about that, right? Are there other brand manufacturers that they know? But, but that seems to be the, the hot ticket. And the point of my conversation is, um, is the hot ticket, how do I get a predicate date? Right. I don't know, you know that right. that that's that, that that's to be determined. But if any regulation that they come down with, wouldn't the smaller uh, uh, the the small batch cigars have to adapt and thrive, and the bigger ones will just have to pony up the money? And some it just might be a hiccup. Some it might be easy. Some might have already be 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 preparing. You know sure. what I mean? I mean, you know, yeah. I've I've heard the number two hundred and fifty thousand dollars thrown out for that, right? right? I mean, if they started saving fifty thousand dollars in an account from when all this dialogue happened, they'd be able to pay for a cash from a business perspective. Just an idea. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? <laughs> you know, it's like it's like so they have to be I don't know. I, I just I uh Pre Predex is creating a sense of urgency. We'll we'll see how the, how that timeline goes, right? Yeah, definitely. I I, I would say that you know that between the uh, the gray areas of this conversation, uh, to get everybody who is going to be involved again, just be transparent with their you know with with one another, and with you know us. <coughs> excuse me, uh, with the consumers. You yeah. know, and what and what the benefits are. I mean, because I mean, at some point they're going to come and ask, like we always do, get with the FDA issues about signatures and about contacting the state level uh, uh, representatives and and helping that cause out as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a lot more education that needs to be put there and put forward. Um, you know, with this in conjunction, you know, uh, and just involve uh, you know all aspects. I mean, you're. You're looking at the manufacturers to get involved. Now you're going to ask the brick and mortars to get involved and the customers. I mean, you know, have it where it's it, it's it's on all levels uh -huh. to, to to help with this uh, um, idea. Uh -huh. I have two so. final points I want to make, and we can kind of wrap this up and, and explore, sure. you know, and kind of just let it sit. You know what I mean? Because if I continue talking, I'm going to. Uh, going to stuff that I, I don't know yet, and 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 I, and I really uh, try to do my due diligence here as Story Geeks host to present uh, information uh, to you uh, there. Yeah. But I mean, I like the idea of us working together, and yeah. I like the timeline laid out, and I like the idea for some of the smaller batch in, in, to work in, in there, but. The method behind, not not to take anything away, but the method behind the madness is that it's going to get stuck. These predicates are going to get stuck in legislature. I mean, if you look at Cigar Rights America and yep. you sign up for their email, their email list, their email of who to email with all of these other side laws and legislative and bans and, 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 and all the pending legislation that's going from state to state. Um, yeah. is it, it gets tied up in the, in the process, right? It, and so the idea is, hey, I have a predicate. We can create this blend. Let's move forward. Boom. I like the idea. Hats off sure. to McCalla for, 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 for taking his outside industry knowledge and putting together, uh, or at least the beginning discussions of how to put something like that together for the industry. Yeah. I think they need it. That's point one. I really think they need it. Point two... Yeah. Point two is, and I guess this is my question to you, and this is my question to Story Geeks, and this is my question to the uh, retailers out there who listen to the show, uh, or other other uh, podcast hosts who listen to the show. Um, do we really think that they're going to work together? Because hmm. historically speaking, yeah. And I'll just I know. And, and 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 I'll just let it <laughs> and I'll just let it go with that. You know yeah. what I mean? I'll just I'll just you know historically speaking, um, I don't know, but I do like the idea. And who knows? Th this may be a springboard for a great discussion for them to finally consider 
working together uh, and and doing that. If we're gonna go this route of having you know a listed certificate stating, hey, um, we don't have to go through this process, uh, or this process isn't gonna be as much as labor intensive, or it's gonna be more cost effective of us uh, as a company to go this route. Maybe we should consider this. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't worry about like. I mean, then the then the then you know, uh, God, I only had two points, right? I have like five more, right? The, then, <laughs> right? The, the, then the 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 it becomes like okay, it's proprietary information to the organization, yeah. right? To the organization. What happens right. if you were you were a company and? How many companies do we know that were around last year and not around this year or five years ago that are not around? Sure. Are they going to say, oh, well, this is my, you know, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, that there, there has to be a, a, a some sort of a, a strategy for that. I'll tell you, uh, I cannot wait for that interview for, for Al McAuliffe to, to, to jump on and yeah. um, even answer some of those questions. You know what I mean? Because I'm just going to go like, it's going to be like rapid fire. From my perspective, you know, if the interview yeah. was in uh, the next three weeks, uh, uh, you know, and I studied for it, uh, I probably wouldn't have um, as many questions that I have currently today. Right. But I also look at it as, um, you know, uh, is this going to be a springboard for them to really start to work together? Anyway, I want to take time out, talk to you about. The McAuliffe Ambassador Program. If you go to storygeeks.com, click on that McAuliffe logo, you can sign up to be an ambassador for your local region. McAuliffe Cigars is bringing back the Ambassador Program. You get behind the scenes and a view of a boutique cigar company, 25% discount on all swag items, exclusive contests for ambassadors. Um, you get some cigars at events. You get to host an event. As an ambassador, um, you join a private Facebook group, and you get to walk along their journey as well. Uh, if you want to become a McAuliffe ambassador or inquire about that, all you got to do is go to storygeeks.com, click on the ambassador logo for McAuliffe Cigars, sign up, and away you go. If you have done that already and you are a Story Geek, Story Geeks listener, email me at joeh at storygeeks.com. I want to know how that is working out for you. Anyway, yeah. Drew. Um, any comments? Last comments? On, yeah, I just want to on Predex. Yeah, I just want to say when you, if you guys uh, get a chance to go to Predex, the uh, website, uh, check out Dan Thompson. So he's the uh, he's the uh, president uh, of Al Macau Cigars, and and uh, you know he makes a a great de declaration of collaboration. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't want to say speech, but it's a it's an open letter uh, to everyone. And I think that in itself uh, kind of lets you know where, what, what, what the thought process is behind it and why. It kind of breaks it down uh, in, in a sense. It's uh, more or less brain uh, thoughts in a wrong direction. It kind of kits you into a nice narrow chute and allows you to uh, understand this a lot more tighter. Uh, along those lines about the declaration of collaboration mm. so when you get there when you get to that page definitely read that other than that uh, yeah I, I definitely look forward to meeting with uh, amanda and al and, and and dan and and discussing this even further yeah yeah for sure and and you know um it's 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 definitely worth a discussion uh definitely to because i like the idea i really like the idea um i just um keeping it going and are we going to get buy-in from the old school? Right. You know what I mean? I mean, you, you, let's, just, let's just lay it on the table and say this. Interview one, we'll say it interview two. And we're probably going to say it on the interview because that's how we, we are here at Story Geeks. We have an outsider coming into an industry, in a new industry. All eyes tend to be on him anyway, in the blends and, yeah. and all this stuff. Uh, I've heard various comments from retailers about either considering them to bring them in, not meetings, et cetera, et cetera. Um, they, they range all over the spectrum. But if we can get old school buy-in on this, like I wonder what would happen if, I don't know, 
uh, Jose Blanco, Nessa Placencia, uh, some, you know, uh, I'm having a brain fart, a couple of brain farts, uh, e, e, uh, Ernesto Perez Carrillo, right? Like, for real, yeah. like, I'm not, and, and again, I'm not casting judgment for, 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 and, and taking anything away from the, from the smaller guys at all. Um, uh, but what would right. happen, um, if that, and then, uh, you know the new kid on the block is McAuliffe cigars. Let's face it, right? It, it, it's it's you know, and 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 people are seeking after it is right. So so people are either right. seeking after them or waiting to to see what's happening. Um, not that the brand is in any danger of going anywhere, but some people some people flock to new stuff. Some people don't flock to new stuff. They do yeah. and don't for uh, for for different reasons. You know what I mean? I think yeah. retailers shy away from what really sells. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yep. They buy five yeah. boxes, they blow out of them in two days, and then, oh, yeah, we're not going to get any more of those. You know what I mean? We're, we're, we're going to sell what's on the shelf first. And I'm like, really? Because this is yeah. like what people want right now, and I understand it'll change in six months, but isn't that right. what's uh, you got to pivot. you got to deflect. You know what I mean? You know, and just like, and it's just like in all industries, it just takes a guy coming in, you know, who's outside the box, and mm-hmm. now, he's, now, he's not, now he's a player, and he's got a fresh set of eyes, and the thought collaboration between him and his is uh al i'm talking about al and Macau cigars yep. uh you know they've they've pivoted around with you know with uh positions you know within the company itself in the last year uh to to really get this uh from what i understand from an insider <laughs> that i know uh to to come up with this idea and and bring it to fruition so mm. um you know for me i i think it's going to be a positive step in the right direction and it'll help other uh uh such as pca and other tpe and everybody else out there just kind of look at this as another uh avenue uh, of information mm-hmm. and going and going forward in the future of the cigar industry there you go mm-hmm. and his hand will stretch out all across egypt and honey <laughs> will come down. To- anyway, yeah. <laughs> in our next segment, Drew and I are going to talk about the Placencia El Forte Robusto and what we've been smoking. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> 